hey, it may just be me, but I completely disagree with the way in common society we've let useful words lose their original actual charge and meaning and we've diluted what things mean. Let me give you an example. The word rape. It appears that nowadays you can use the word rape in a positive light. Like our online gaming team completely raped the other group, meaning it's been explained to me that you completely annihilated, decimated, devastated, totally destroyed the other team. Their defense was completely useless and now they're wrecked, destroyed, completely poofed and no longer functional. And you won. You totally raped them. I disagree with this. You see, imagine what happens when we allow this kind of culture and speaking to leak on to our friends, family, children. And these youngsters go out into the world and meet other people for whom rape carries the original charge. And in, in, in themselves, they think that rape is a fine thing. And since rape is this and rape is that, you can do both. Can you imagine what kind of a horrible mess that would be? Think about it. And if you don't think that crap like that can happen, consider this. The original meaning for be careful a long time ago was not the way it's used right now. To be careful nowadays usually means, yeah, to take extra precaution, to be wary to be on the lookout, to prepare yourself for danger. It's a bad thing, it's a negative thing. Huh? Yeah? But the original meaning of to be careful was to be full of care. But that's gotten messed up through the ages. And now it means something completely horrible when the original meaning was so absolutely beautiful. So my invitation is, Please consider you yourselves. And this is just me asking as a personal favor. Please be careful, be full of care in your choice of words and in the meanings you convey so that we raise a happier, healthier, more productive society. Or at least so that we rotate around the world among friends and people we meet and it's just so much of a better place to live in.